Ever wondered if there's a magic number of push-ups that'll build muscle and redefine your strength, especially after 40? Well, there's a way that a ton of guys do it and don't see results. But you're not going to make that mistake because we're going to go over exactly what, when, and how to do push-ups to build muscle. You might be surprised. Also, stick around to the end because I'll be laying out a push-up routine to build mass whether you're a fresh recruit, mid-level maverick, or a push-up pro. Hey, let's get something straight right off the bat. Doing resistance exercises every single day for the same muscle groups is not the best idea. And yep, that includes push-ups. Here's the scoop. When you rock out exercises like push-ups, squats, or pull-ups, you're actually creating tiny little tears in your muscle fibers. Now imagine not giving those muscles a break. Over time, these micro tears accumulate. And without proper recovery, they can lead to overtraining or even injuries. I know you're not trying to be benched on the sidelines, right? But here's the plot twist. After your workout, when you're chilling or catching some Z's, your body turns into this repair wizard. It not only fixes these tears, but goes above and beyond, making your muscles even bigger and better. In the fitness world, we call this awesomeness muscular hypertrophy. All right, let's debunk a myth together and dive deep into the science of swole, all thanks to the age-old push-up. First off, a fun fact. Muscular hypertrophy doesn't mean you're sprouting new muscle fibers like a chia pet. Nope. Instead, think of it like your existing muscle fibers hitting the gym and beefing up. They're getting thicker and taking up more space. Now, how does this magic happen? Enter push-ups. When you're mastering the art of the push-up, you're making your muscles work overtime. They're contracting dynamically, fighting against resistance, enduring tension, and dancing between stretches called concentric and eccentric movements. Quite the workout party, right? And because push-ups demand your triceps, deltoids, and pectorals to not just move but resist against your body weight and our ever-present frenemy, gravity, those tiny little micro tears we talked about before make their appearance. But here's where it gets epic. Your body, being the absolute champ it is, senses these micro tears and goes into superhero mode. It ramps up hormone production and directs extra resources to those battle-worn muscles. The end result? Those fibers repair themselves, coming back bigger and bolder, hence the swole. All right, let's tackle a fitness myth that's been doing the rounds Push-ups every day equals gains every day. Not quite. Here's a surprising plot twist. The real muscle building action happens when you're not working out. When you've wrapped up your workout, that's when your body rolls up its sleeves and gets to work. It boosts hormone production and starts this epic process of muscular protein synthesis. It's like your body's own repair and upgrade team. But here's the catch. If you're hitting those push-ups every single day, you're basically keeping that team constantly busy with repairs, not upgrades. So instead of giving them a chance to make your muscles bigger and stronger, you're just ringing the damage bell again and again. In simple words, more isn't always better. Want your muscles to grow? Give them some downtime, let them heal, and watch the magic happen. All right, time to address that burning question. Just how many push-ups should you be busting out to see those gains? Now, as with all epic adventures, the journey varies depending on the traveler. Your push-up game plan will hinge on where you currently stand on your fitness trail. And just a heads up, constantly pumping out push-ups every day, that's like trying to fill a bucket with a hole at the bottom. Let's avoid the counterproductive route, shall we? For the fresh recruits, if you're new to the push-up party, here's the strategy. Push yourself close to your limit, but not quite. So if you're rocking a max of 10 push-ups, Aim for a solid nine in each set. Let's call it the one less than your max rule. Aiming for three to four sets of six to ten push-ups is a brilliant place to start. And hey, if you're thinking ten push-ups sound like a tall task right now, no sweat. Opt for some knee push-ups or another beginner-friendly version. It's all about growth and progress, not perfection. Remember, it's not about how you start. It's about the journey and where you're headed. So ready to get pushing? All right, my seasoned warriors, let's dive into the push-up realm for those who've been in the game a little or a lot longer. Navigating the push-up world as an intermediate or advanced exerciser is like venturing into deeper waters. Why? Because once you've packed on a good amount of muscle, your body's like, 
whoa, slow down, I'm getting cozy here. But hey, that doesn't mean we let the fire die down. For the mid-level Mavericks, if you've been flexing those muscles for a while now, you might find your sweet spot in the 3-4 to four sets of 15-25 to 25 push-ups range. But for those days when you're feeling extra spicy, why not throw in an AMRAP, as many reps as possible, set? Consider it a surprise party for your muscles to keep them guessing and growing. For the push-up pros, all right, elites, if regular push-ups feel like a walk in the park, it's time to up the ante. Swap out the basics for the adrenaline-pumping variants like weighted push-ups. Or, if you're feeling especially showy, the applause-worthy clapping push-up. It's like turning your workout into a performance. Here's how to structure a push-up program to build muscle. Let's break down the volume and sets. Aim for the sweet spot. High volume sets that challenge you but don't push you over the edge. Think of your max push-ups, then dial it back by two to three reps. And for sets, keep it under five to six to show some love to your joints. After all, they're the loyal sidekicks in this fitness journey. Here's how to set up your routine for success. Push-ups shouldn't hog all the spotlight in your workout concert. Depending on your fitness journey stage and your goals, Push-ups can either be your rock star compound exercise or the backup dancer to the main gig like the bench press. And always remember, the high energy performers, aka compound exercises, open the show, followed by the more chill acts, isolation exercises. So what about recovery time? Remember that legendary concert that left you buzzing for days? That's what intense workouts are for your muscles. While a day's rest sounds nice, science says muscles may need up to 48 hours to truly recover from that rock out session. So, think of structuring your push-up days with buffer days in between. Maybe a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Rhythm with a breather on Tuesday, Thursday, and the weekend. Here's how to feed the muscle. No epic meal is complete without the right ingredients, and your muscle-building journey isn't any different. While mastering the push-up is key, your diet plays the lead guitar in this muscle band. Without enough protein and a slight calorie surplus, you might just be spinning your wheels. Aim for about one to two grams of protein per kilo of body weight and a calorie surplus of 250 to 500 calories. Remember, it's not just about training hard, but also about fueling smart. Okay, let's tackle some frequently asked questions that always pop up. The daily push-up dilemma. If I'm doing push-ups every day, am I gonna be building muscle? You bet, but here's a twist. If you toss in a rest day, at least 24 hours between those push-up parties, you might just turbocharge those gains. Recovery is like that intermission between two epic music sets. It amplifies the experience. Can I grow my chest from push-ups? Push-ups and a massive chest go together like peanut butter and jelly. Push-ups give your pecs both power and shape. Pair it up with the right diet and program and bam, you're on the express train to Muscleville even without any weights. Just find creative ways to perform the push-up in order to stimulate growth. When is the perfect time to bust out push-ups? Dawn with the roosters or night with the owls? Well, my friend, it's all about tuning into your body's rhythm. Some are morning champs while others rock those reps under the moonlight. But a little pro tip, flexing those muscles one to two hours post a carb-rich feast might just set the stage for a stellar performance. Think of carbs as your pre-show hype music. So figure out what works for you, and the key is to stay consistent. Now I've got a challenge for you. Drop a comment below sharing your current push-up record and where you aim to be in a month with our epic routine. And if you've gained even an ounce of muscle knowledge today, hit that like button to show your support. See you in the next video.